Hello old friend, it sure is nice to see you once again. Hello old friend. From the Garden of the Grills, welcome to Smoky Goodness 2.0 and a video that was largely inspired by Sal over at the Root Boy Cooks. This isn't exactly how I was going to do this video, but after watching his latest uh, chicken wing video, I'm making major changes. Hey, I'll be the first to admit that most of the videos, the older videos from the first couple of years that we were doing this Smoky Goodness thing, those videos are horrible, every single one of them. The music's too loud, the audio, sucks. <laughs> I didn't explain what I was doing most of the time. Temperatures, cooking times, things like that. We're going to rectify that and a whole lot more starting with this video. We're doing Plank Road uh, game hens, Cornish game hens today. And um, like I said, uh, I've changed a lot of this recipe based on what I saw Sal do a little earlier this week. So let's get on with it. All the ingredients, of course, will be announced as they come into play. Stick around, Herb. Who's the expert lighter? Me! Mm -hmm. My oldest and most favorite Weber of all my Webers is this uh, Weber One Touch Silver, shiny black in color. Uh, what a great investment, $99. Of all my Webers, I know this one inside and out. I know its moods, I know how it reacts to uh, certain weather conditions, wind, rain, snow, everything. Been with this thing a long, long time. And here are our little ladies. Aren't they cute? Here's what they look like. They're going to be delicious. I'll set those off for just a second. I'm going to cut up a lemon here. A quarter of a lemon. Wow. <laughs> it's not a very good looking lemon. Jeez. You know what? Do you see that? Normally I would cut this scene, but I'm going to cut the lemon instead. What the heck? What's up with that? Man, it's just produce. Lately, we really gotta be careful where you buy it, I guess. All right. What are we doing with these lemons there, Mr. Smoky Goodness Guy? We're just gonna shove them right up the uh, rear-facing orifice of each one of these little birds. For a little bit of moisture and a whole lot of flavor. Let's get her right down in there. that. Then, the first of several uh, inspirational ideas I got from Sal, I'm going to hit these bad rabbits, or these cute little birds, with some Sang stir fry oil. Sang stir fry oil, something I never, ever, ever run out of. Got plenty on hand here. And if you don't know already, and you should, because everybody's using this, this stuff is just packed with great flavor. Garlic. What else? Cottonseed oil, onion, a lot of herbs. Just all around, uh, probably the best cooking oil there is out there. And I'm sure everybody uh, who's tried it would probably agree with me. The Sangs, of course, serves two purposes. First purpose is that it tastes really good. The second purpose is that it acts as a great binder for this. Tango Spice Chicken Rib Rub. Of course, because it is Tango Spice, I like to go heavy on it. You just, you just have to. It's a law, I think it's written down somewhere. Some state's legislature says, uh, if you use Tango Spice, use a lot. Old school smoky goodness. This is a nature's choice cedar plank. Lay it right over the coals, smooth side down to uh, burn off any uh, bacteria that may be on it. You know that. We'll be back. Okay, a minute or two has passed. It already smells good. We just flip it over. We're gonna move it off the coals just a little bit. And our little hens are going on right now. Let me 
should be enough room on this plank for all four of them. I'll make them fit, but there it is. No need to worry about that. Set it and forget it. I'm gonna go about 350 on this. Maybe even a little lower. I want this low and slow. Let that smoke really get in there. So we'll be checking on it periodically and we'll be back. While we're waiting, I'm going to audition for my friend Dave in uh, jolly old England. <clears throat> Ready? <clears throat> Better than Bourdain. Thank you very much and I hope I passed the audition. He's ripping it right out of the ground. <laughs> it used to scare the crap out of me when I was a kid. I always thought the, thing, the whole thing was going to go over with me on it. So, guys, fearless. We are 45 minutes mission elapsed time into this. It's another idea that I got from Sal. And I wasn't planning on doing this originally, but I'm doing it now. I work in some magic. And it doesn't get much more magic than this. You know you want it spicy. Isn't that a nice convenient jar? Perfect. I'm gonna dump the whole thing into this oversized uh, deal here. And to that, some more magic. How about some crushed pineapple? Great thing about YouTube. Somebody has a brilliant idea and everybody can copy it. Like I said, this was the only uh, disposable pan this size that I had on hand. Because I just got this idea a day or two ago. And because Sal said this was a really sweet sauce, we're going to kick it up a little bit. I've got some Himalayan pink salt. And we've got some peppercorn. It's going to grind into there. Some fresh pepper. Not a whole lot. But I know the pan looks funky. It's bent like this so that it will fit on the grill alongside that Nature's Choice cedar plank. All right, let's get this on the grill, get it heating up. Just like that. That sauce will warm up. Everything will be really good. All right, the sauce is probably heated up really nicely. Mmm, -hmm, smells great. Got a base. Sorry about that, I had to stop and uh, adjust the camera for changing lighting conditions. I love this hobby. We're just giving these birds a preliminary base with some of the juice. Because uh, in not too much time, three of these birds are going right into the pan. Let's get the lid on that. And we'll be back in a few. All right, because I've been running the temperature so low all afternoon and evening, uh, we are 95 minutes in, and I think these uh, chickadees are ready. And the right tool for the job, I happen to have a ladle here. So I'm gonna take some of this goodness, put it right inside. inside the bird. A conflict with some of that lemon in there, but hey. Alright, then the birds are going into the sauce. A root boy masterpiece is about to happen. Will they fit? The $64 question. Well, the three that need to fit do fit because this little one is my wife's and she doesn't want it uh, swimming in the sauce. So, that works out just about perfect. We can get rid of the plank. It's done its job very well. Slide these guys over here. Throw this bird over here and let the rest of them kind of baste for a little while. A few more minutes has passed. 
put a final sear on these really quickly. Already done this little one here. So she can come over here. She's dancing. <laughs> Take these bad rabbits inside, plate them up, and have a feast. Yeah. <laughs> I cannot wait. Oh. Oh, look at that, huh? Mm. Wow. Mm. Oh, that's good. It's sweet. It's like salsa, but it's good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The fire starter says, Stick around, nerd. Shut up, bird. <laughs>